Welcome to Gina's Bella Cucina. Today I'm making gnocchi. Quick and simple, three ingredients, no dairy, no eggs for those of you who may be vegan or who have dairy allergies. Come and cook with me. I begin by boiling two large baking potatoes with their skin on and then I put them through the ricer. Either one of these ricers will do. As soon as the potato cools a little, I peel the skin off and then I put them through the ricer. My ingredients are one cup of semolina flour, one cup unbleached regular flour, and about a quarter cup of water. I make a little well in my riced potatoes and I add my two different types of flours, my semolina flour and my regular flour. And then I begin to work them together and mix it all in until it forms a nice dough. At this point, if you choose to, you may add a little bit of salt um, and a quarter cup of water to help bring it all together. Kneading does not take too long. As soon as all your dough comes together, maybe a few minutes, five minutes, uh, it's ready to rest. Make sure you liberally flour your surface and uh, uh, let your dough rest under a piece of saran wrap. Liberally flour, once again, your working surface. Uh, I use a granite surface, but a wooden board works just fine. I cut off a piece of dough and I roll it to my desired length. I like my gnocchis to be little in size. I use a dough cutter and I cut small little pieces. Again, make sure that you have plenty of flour on your surface. I then make a grooved shape on my gnocchis. You don't need to make this shape. Uh, you can also use a fork uh, if you don't have that uh, little wooden gadget, or you can just leave them as is. I place my gnocchi on a floured baking tray, at which point I can either put them in the fridge for later use, or I can freeze them uh, in the freezer. I salt my water and then I throw in my gnocchi to boil. You know that the gnocchis are ready to eat once they float. You can add a beautiful marinara sauce or a pesto sauce with basil and parsley and sun-dried tomatoes and garlic. Or for those of you who don't mind the cheese, a beautiful cambazola sauce with caramelized onions and arugula and peas. Whatever your choice, enjoy.